We are in the final push to get donations for Cool to Care. Here comes some Santa Paws. Find out how you can help some pets this winter. Plus, how you can help students right here at Davidson High School. GTV News starts right now. Something about the holidays that makes people want to give back to so many. Good afternoon, Davison. I'm Brooklyn Wolfter. And I'm Drew Yunkin. The holidays can be pretty magical, but today especially is a day of giving. It's Giving Tuesday. Giving Tuesday was created in 2012 as a day that encourages people to do good. Now, the day is a global movement that inspires hundreds of millions of people to give. Today, we have several ways that you can give back right here in the community. Let's jump right into the some good causes happening here at DHS. Now until next Wednesday, December 10th, the Key Club will be accepting donations for the Genesee County Humane Society. There will be a table set up by the Welcome Center before school each day. They are collecting pet items such as food, blankets, pet beds, and more. They will also be accepting money donations. For more information on items to donate, check your daily announcements. How about giving back to your fellow classmates? DHS is holding a clothing drive starting tomorrow until Friday. They're asking for new or gently used items appropriate for high school age students. Things like jeans, hoodies, socks, coats, and t-shirts. They're also looking for shoes, snow boots, umbrellas, and even deodorant. Donations may be dropped off near the welcome desk near the main entrance. Cash donations will also be accepted. We have an article with information at our website, dtvnews.org. To save a life. The DHS blood drive is on Monday, December 13th from 8 a.m. to 145. All blood givers must be at least 16 years old and the event is sponsored by the National Honor Society. To save time, visit Red Cross Blood Red Cross Red Cross redcrossblood.org slash rapid pass ahead of time to complete pre-donation reading and health history questions. You can use your creative creativity to give back to. The annual Holiday Cards for Veterans project is coming up on Monday, December 6. It will be held in the High School Media Center. Students have the opportunity to get together and make cards for veterans. Many families who have, are too far away to visit and some who have not had any at all, so the cards are giving to spread a little love during the holidays. If you're If you're interested in making veterans smile this holiday season, contact Ms. Palso in room 223. <laughs> Kindness is a great way to give back at Student Council. Just came up with a new project to do, to do just that in the high school. Student Council member and DTV's own Cooper Austin explains what it's all about and how you can participate. Right here we have the Davidson High School Student Council's newest project that will spread kindness. Right here we have the Pass on the Positivity Board. It is very simple and it will spread kindness. All you gotta do is you gotta grab a sticky note with a kind message on it and you gotta give it to a friend. It will surely make their day. Tomorrow the Anime Club will be meeting from 2.45 until 3.45 in the Media Center. Also, Key Club membership dues are due to Ms. Stedry by tomorrow. On Thursday after school, the Bible Club will be meeting from 2.45 until 3.30. And if you are a ski or snowboard club member, don't forget to join the Remind app. You can find the information to join in the daily announcements. Coming up in sports, we have a look at the upcoming board boys basketball season and some key matchups. And this morning, we woke up to some snow and fog. Mad Maddox Bissett tells us what we can expect tonight. Forty-three hundred. That's how many deaths are caused by underage drinking each year. One out of ten. That's how many high school students will drink and drive. Basketball schedules were released recently, and the future holds some interesting matchup for the guy squad this year. Welcome back to sports. I'm Shayton Harris. Let's dive right into some of the key matchups this year. They'll open things up in the Lightning territory, taking on their old rival Lapeer. The guys won and lost one against Lapeer last season, avenging a regular season loss later on in the playoffs. They'll stay in the SBL the next week with another road trip, this time in Charger country. 
they lost the powers in last year's season opener, and the boys won't be in Cardinal Country for a game until 2022, playing a Ferndale squad fresh out of last season's semifinals. To start February, it's another SVL matchup, this time against Carmen. After snapping a losing streak against the Cavs last year, this game could go either way. Then the big one, Grand Blank on the 11th, Mike Williams taking on his Ty Rogerless alma mater. The D1 state champs are lacking some of the senior talent that led them to East Lansing last year, but we'll see how they fare with the next generation of Bobcats. Coach Williams is looking forward to this challenge to come with his final season steering the hoops, steering yeah, Cardinal hoops. To find out our true identity, we have to play tough teams, you know, and, and sharp knives sharpen other sharp knives. And so we want to go against teams that we know are going to be uh, state contenders. Um, we want to go against teams that are going to bring out the best of, in, in us and uh, that can expose some of the things that we need to work on and, and get better at. This, this would be a brand new season, a brand new program, so um, it's, it'll be some adjusting. So we know we'll take some bumps in the beginning, but um, hopefully that, that'll help us to be better in the end. We'll be sure to keep you updated on our basketball broadcast dates. Our first one won't be until Christmas break, after Christmas break. Football and powerlifting coach Chad Williams will be leading athlete workouts this winter. This is a great opportunity for athletes trying to get stronger and faster during the off season. If you are interested, feel free to check out the weight room any day this week after school. Winter sports are coming in full force this week. On Thursday, the girls basketball team will have their first game of the season at Goodrich High School at seven. Friday, the hockey team will hit Rex Rexford Arena at seven to go head to head against Cadillac. Saturday morning, the cheer team will compete in the Grand Blank Invite at 9.30 a.m. The boys' swim team kicks off their season with a meet at Fenton High School at 12 p.m. And the girls' basketball team will be at Arbor Prep competing in the Icebreaker at noon as well. Good luck to all Cardinals in action for the first time this winter. That's a wrap for sports today. We were greeted with some morning snow. How much should we expect this week, Maddox? Well, Chayton, we finally get a break from that snowy weather. Good afternoon, Davison. My name is Maddox Spitzit, and let, let's run right into your weather. So this is a look at what our weather stem camera caught last night as the two to four inches of snow fell across the area. As you can see, it accumulated in the parking lot and even one time, the camera. It wasn't, unfortunately, enough to cancel school, but still it set the scene for some slippery roads and sidewalks this morning. Now as we take a look at our forecast, this afternoon we are expecting a high of 38 degrees and a low of 28 degrees with mostly cloudy skies. However, on Thursday we take a big warm up with a high of 50 with partly cloudy skies and some sun peeking through. However, that low gets all the way down to 29 degrees. So we finally get out of the snowy pattern this week that we have been stuck in for what seems like a long time. Now as we look outside, you can see the snow from last night accumulated all over the ground and some portions of the road there with a current temperature of 36 degrees and a west-southwest wind out of the west-southwest at 16 miles per hour. It's just a dreary and chilly day outside. Now as we take a look at the weather, weather radar, we can see the snow that impacted us last night across mid-Michigan is moving out and now in portion like impacting New York City and portions of southern New York, as well as some snow showers coming from Lake Superior in the Upper Peninsula and Northern Lower Peninsulas. Make sure you pack a winter coat, a hat, and gloves when you head to school in the morning, because December starts tomorrow. So it's most important to stay warm and bundled up. That's it for me in weather. Hey Drew, would you like to tell us where we find DTV outside of newscasts? To stay up to date on news, sports, and student life happening now, check out all of our social media pages. Like us on Facebook and YouTube at DTV News. You can also check out our Twitter page at DTV underscore official. While you're there, take a look at our sports page at DTV Sports One for all things happening in Davidson Sports. We hope that anyone and everyone goes out and gives this week, and we just hope that you guys are giving back to your community. Yeah, there are just so many ways to give back. Yep, yeah. I signed up for Miss Postle's card thing. I cannot wait to do that. Speaking of giving, it's time for us to show you a little love from the library. Mr. Rudenbush is always working hard. DTV Zone's Sam Watts sat down with him to check out some of the books that match November's library theme. We'll leave you with a look. Have a great day, Davison. To bring some love to our media center and the fantastic themes it has to offer, here are the highlights of this month's themes. This month's theme actually is two of them, and then a, a holiday as well. We've got uh, Native American Month, we've got uh, 
Aviation Month, Aviators of Month, and we also have Veterans Day coming up. Mr. Ruderbush recommends two books that will really catch your attention. First for Native American Month, we've got a lot of new books about Native Americans, a lot of stuff going on. It's a lot of good stuff to read, and I really like to go over this one. It's about Jim Thorpe. Jim Thorpe was uh, an athlete back in the early 1900s. He played pro football, pro baseball. He was in the 1912 Olympics, and in the Olympics he won the pentathlon and the decathlon. He was voted the best athlete of the first half century of the 1900s. I really like Jim Thorpe as a person and what he had to go through, his struggles to try and make it as a Native American in a country that didn't even call him a citizen. Next, for Aviators Month and also for Veterans Day, we have a new book about John McCain. And John McCain, uh, all of you would know, just recently passed, but uh, he was captured uh, flying uh, a mission over Vietnam and uh, was tortured for years. He uh, never cracked. He was an American hero. He came back and he uh, served his country in the, American, in the United States Senate for years and was just an all-around good man. Always had a lot of respect for John McCain. He went uh, his own way and did what he thought was best. It didn't always have to agree with everything else that was going on in the country. It didn't have to agree with everybody's opinion. He did what he thought was right. And I think anybody that volunteered to go fight and uh, serve his country the way he did it deserves recognition. And I always had a lot of respect for John McCain.